Jay sent me an email and said, look, I want you to play this iconic man, Rupert Murdoch. So I laughed because, you know, Rupert Murdoch's quite somebody that, you know, is one of the titans. And um, he said it wasn't big, it wasn't, but it was very important because there's a certain gravitas and um, he's a terrific character to play, even though I don't have that many scenes. Look, it's really, you know, uh, Roger Ailes' story as told from the women's point of view. So, which makes it very interesting. It's not just about him. It's, it's the reaction of his presence on all these people that work for him. And so it's sort of interesting, you know, that at the end, Rupert has to come in and fire him, basically. So, no surprises there. Of course, I had to work on the accent, you know, and, and they put this incredible chin. Um, so that was fabulous, and that really did help. It, it sort of um, gave him a gravitas, you know. So that was fantastic, and um, we just went from there. There's a, a lot of the cast are playing living people, you know, and, and very recognizable people. And so it's kind of cool, and um, it, I've never really used prosthetics in a big way before. I did years ago in a horror movie called Cat People, but I used a bit then, but um, I don't usually get cast in these roles. So I'm, I'm really happy to do it because it sort of does the acting for you. Where we are is really, I come in at the end of the story when really he's being sued. Roger Ailes is being sued and it's obvious that he's going to have to go because public opinion is such that they will, with the Me Too movement, they will not stand anymore for this kind of shenanigans. And there's no way you can talk your way out of it this time. So Rupert Murdoch is not a predator in that way. He's, but he's, um, I think they were very good friends. And I think you know, uh, Rupert was very grateful to him. He did an incredible job at Fox, made it into one of the most successful news programs or stations anywhere in the world. And it was pretty amazing. So, you know, I have to come in basically at the end to fire him and uh, make a settlement and move on. And uh, so that's basically, you know, what I have to do in this piece. It's a well-intentioned movie, but it's not pious. It doesn't speak down to people. It is what it is. And that's Charles's great writing. And also, I think Jay's take on it too, his vision of it, uh, you know, it's always real, always real. So the humor has been written there. So, you know, and uh, that's great. It, it's uh, very funny in places. He's a brilliant businessman, of course, and he's a businessman, I think, in front of being a friend. Now, I think they were very good friends, and but you know, I think Murdoch sort of looked the other way occasionally, he didn't want to know, really. I'm sure, I don't know, I'm speaking off the top of my head, but I would imagine. But I think that he was genuinely fond of it. And not only that, you know, he made him a very rich man. Not that he needed any more money, but, uh, you know, Ailes made Fox News the number one news media uh, uh, station on, on the planet. I mean, twice as much as CNN and MSBC or whatever it is combined, it's Fox.